What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Purple and Gold podcast. Now, look, we might have something starting up here uh, nearing the start of the season where I might just get my friends on here who are fans of specific teams, and we're just going to go over a schedule prediction. And I already made a uh, full prediction uh, if you want to go check that out. But today, we're here with Micah, who is obviously a Chargers fan. Um, I've done the entire season already, prediction, and uh, I'm just going to go over game by game with him. He's going to make his prediction on the fly. Uh, hopefully, he won't be biased. I'm sure he won't. Maybe he will. But I am with my <laughs> team, so I know how difficult it can be. Um, but you can see right here. So I have the Chargers going 10-7 and seven in the 2022 season, making the seventh seed in the AFC. Now, if some of you guys disagree with that because you think they should be higher up because they're more talented, I definitely agree with you. But I was telling Micah before this video started that the AFC conference is just so loaded with so many talented teams that, you know, and the Chargers playing uh, what is 12 winning teams, um, according to my prediction, them going five and seven against those winning teams, they're going to have a very difficult schedule this season, uh, just like all the other teams in the AFC. So, you know, they're all just beating each other up in the conference, but they do sneak themselves into the playoffs. And I feel like as long as you give yourself a chance, right, you have a, you know, a real opportunity to win the whole thing, which is the ultimate goal. So 10 and seven, seventh seed for the Chargers. So we'll go over each and every game. So Micah, the first game you guys are home against the Raiders. I have that opening the season with a win. I do too. I don't see us. I mean, maybe in some other world we do lose, but I see it as we want a revenge from last season. Yeah, this is a good they, revenge. They, they, fucking, yeah. they took us out, so I think we were more we're more hungry in this situation. We just want to take them out, so I think we'll we'll win this one. So okay, I like that. Second game, you guys are going to be on the road against Kansas City. This is going to be a Thursday night football game. Look, this one for me, I had Kansas City winning it. I just yeah, Kansas City is a powerhouse. As much as like I want to say we're gonna win this game, because I mean, I, I mean, every every fan of their team wants to say like, oh yeah, we we have we're gonna win this game, right? Like we, every team has a shot at winning every game. Yeah. But honestly, in Arrowhead prime time, I think we're gonna lose that game. I think I think we'll lose that game. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mark that as a loss too. Yeah. No, that's definitely one of the toughest environments to play in. Okay. After that, week three, you guys are going to be at home against the Jaguars. I feel like this should be an easy win. Um, so I gave them the win. Yeah, I don't, nothing to much say there. So Okay. I think that's a win. Week four, you're going to be on the road against the Texans. I have that as a win. And uh, Dylan, not sure if you're watching this or not. Dylan's been on the channel multiple times. But he always brings uh, up how the Chargers didn't beat the Texans last year. And I just feel like, you know, this is another one of those games that – the Chargers didn't forget about, so I think they're going to win this one. Yeah, I, I, I really hope we do. You, you know, I was watching that game last year. Man, you don't know how pissed off I was. <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah, so I think we'll win this game again. Okay, week five, you guys are on the road against uh, the Cleveland Browns, and we know for sure that Deshaun Watson will not be playing in that game, so I have that as a win. Yeah, me too. I don't think Jacoby Brissett is going to do anything. I don't so. think so either. I mean, if, if anything, their defense might have a little hope. But then again, to me, the Browns don't really have a power, like a front seven to me, like a true front seven besides Miles Garrett in that mm. front seven. So I don't think they're going to stop us either way. Okay. So currently, I have the Chargers at 4-1 and one to start the season. Now, you guys have a Monday night football game at home against the Denver Broncos. I gave this one to the Broncos. I, I'm, I'm really a believer in Russell Wilson. And I, I think these are two pretty evenly matched teams when it, you just compare the rosters together. Um, but do I, like, I look at it like, do I see the Chargers starting off 5-1? and one? Not really. So I gave them the loss against Denver. Um, you know, I think we actually win this game. I'm not. Okay, so I think that. Russell Wilson is a great quarterback. I think he will actually do really good against us that game. But I also think that um, I'm not a big believer in their defense this year. Denver? Because, I, yes, and I view it as, I mean, they have, a good, they have a really good secondary, right? Their secondary is pretty solid. And then um, they also, but they don't have like any, to me, they don't have a good front seven. So I think we could run all over them. Mm. To me, because like, 
Bradley Chubb had a down year last year. We all know that. He and did, yeah. Other other than other than Bradley Chubb, I there's not really that much people that really scare me. Mm-hmm. So I think I think it it'll be an offensive battle. So it'll more rely on the defense that game. And I think our defense is better than the Broncos. So I think that's why we'll win that game. Okay. And interesting that you brought that up because like I actually one of the you know last videos that I made on this channel was highlighting Denver's defense. And they brought in a lot of guys to help tackling. But like you said, you mentioned the edge rushers. Like Bradley Chubb still needs to prove, you know, that he was worth where he was taken. And then they did sign Randy Gregory. And I think Gregory is a baller, but he had six sacks last season. So, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of question marks at the edge or at the linebacker positions for Denver. So we'll see how that plays out. But you do make a good point there. Uh, week seven, you guys are going to be home against the Seattle Seahawks. I have that as a win. I, I don't see them being competitive, whether they have Geno Smith uh, or Drew Locke starting at quarterback. I feel like you're going to get the same out of them. So <laughs> Yeah, me too. I don't I don't really think the Seahawks are going to be good this year anyway. So Yeah, no, not at all. So... At the bye week, I have the Chargers at five and two, and you six and one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sounds good. Okay, so we are entering the second half of the season, week ten. You guys are going to be on the road against Atlanta. Uh, spoiler: uh, I have Atlanta as the worst team uh, in football this year. <laughs> uh, I think the goal for them is just to really develop Desmond Ritter, but yeah, easy win here. Yes, I think so too. I don't, they're bad. They're just like I think they're on the same part with the Seahawks. So uh, yeah, pretty maybe much. Even worse. Uh, next game, you guys are going to be on the road against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, we had a discussion off camera about this yesterday. Uh, he's not a believer in Trey Lance. I am. Uh, I think Trey Lance is going to do good things this year. So I have the 49ers winning this game. Yeah. Um. So I'm not a believer in Trey Lance. Neither am I totally in that defense but you know the chargers here and there always have their fluke games every year i think every team does actually yeah. and i think this would just this just comes across as one in my opinion and i just think that this is one we're just gonna choke against the niners so i'm gonna mark this as a loss because I, I to me i think fred warner is gonna run that defense and he's gonna stop us totally so okay all righty um week 11 comes around you guys are gonna be playing kansas city at home this time this one, I gave you guys the win. I think you guys are going to split the series. And, uh, you know, last year's game was a primetime game when you guys played them uh, at home. I think the outcome is just going to be different this time. Yeah, I think so, too. I think we'll win this game. And I think splitting splitting uh, the tiebreaker between us will actually, like, make the division a lot more competitive. So Definitely. I think that's what we want. So. Definitely, yeah. And, you know, that, I mean, not for you. But uh, I think the great thing for the rest of the NFL fans is that I think we're going to see a really tight race in the AFC West. And uh, like I said, I mean, it's possible that all these teams can make it, um, but some teams are going to fall out short. So it's just going to be interesting to see how this unfolds. It's going to be really close. It already is here in week 11. Um, Week 12, you guys are going to be on the road against Arizona. I think Arizona is going to flip the trend of what they normally do. I think they're going to start off really slow because they don't have Hopkins this year. I think they're going to catch fire at the right time at the end of the season. Um, so I'm going to have them on kind of that hot streak against you guys here in week 12. I say they win this game. Yeah. So in my opinion, I think that we will win this game. I think Kyler like always is going to have that down, that downhill spiral <laughs> in the second half of the season. So you think he's going to be the same single year. Yeah. I okay. think he'll be the same. I don't think four hours of studying every day will help him. <laughs> I I just think it's funny like the NFL like really treats him like you know like he is a little kid you know it's beyond just his height so I think that's great <laughs> yeah well <laughs> okay week 13 you guys are going to be at the Las Vegas Raiders I have you guys winning this one so I have you guys sweeping the Raiders this year yes me too I have a sweeping the Raiders this year so okay no doubt in my mind. You know, I can just tell by how your prediction is going that you are very optimistic about this upcoming season. Yes, I am. Right. And I hope I'm right. <laughs> okay, week 14 now. You guys are playing the Miami Dolphins. I have you guys winning this game. I have it too, because Tua will be hurt by then. <laughs> Alrighty, you heard it. Alrighty. Uh, week 15, 
You guys are going to be playing at home against Tennessee. I think these are going to be two teams that are definitely competing for a playoff spot at this point in the season. I don't care if Tannehill is trash, which, you know, I don't think he's that great either, but this team is competitive year after year. I still think you guys win this game, and it's going to be crucial for your guys, uh, you know, road into the playoffs. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think, I think I'm going to give myself or my team a win also because – I think our run defense is going to be much improved this year, and I think that's Ooh. going to help with Henry. Stop King Henry. I, I really, I really, yes, I, I, I mean, at least help out because I mean, if if we face Henry last season, dude, he would have like five hundred rushing yards in one game, and that that's <laughs> ridiculous. So, and I really don't think that'll happen again. I mean, with Austin Johnson and Sebastian Joseph Day now getting added, and Khalil Mack adding to the edge, I think we'll be fine. So. Okay. Yeah, regardless, though, I think he'll probably run still really good because that's just fucking Derrick Henry. But I think, well, it's going to be a close game, in my opinion. Yeah, I I really believe that we're going to see a, a huge jump uh, in the defense in terms of, like, understanding responsibilities in their schemes and stuff because I don't think people realize that, that, that you know, it is, a, it is a big difference in how everyone plays their position. So I think everyone's got a year to settle in and, I think things are going to be different. It's more talented as well. So, yeah, like you said. Okay. Uh, you guys can already see it on the screen. This is kind of where it gets a little cold for me here for the Chargers. Uh, you guys have a Monday night game uh, on the road against the Indianapolis Colts. Now, I am a firm believer in Matt Ryan and what the Colts are going to do. So, I have them winning this game uh, in Indianapolis. You know, the Colts are going to be – I think I think the Colts are going to win the division, to be honest. And – I think they're a lot more tougher than the, the Titans, even though – because I think, like, they have two high-caliber running backs, both of those teams. Mm-hmm. But I think the Colts have a better quarterback. And in my opinion, I think they slightly have a better defense. So I I'm, mm. I think we'll lose this game because I, I, I think Matt Ryan will do good in, in Indianapolis. So I I don't see us really winning at least this game. So Okay. After that, Week 17 – this is going to be basically a neutral game against the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, I Now, I, I still think that the Rams are going to be really good. I mean, these are the reigning Super Bowl champions. Um, I think they're going to win this game as well. Well, I told you before this video, but everybody didn't hear it. I have the Rams missing the playoffs this year. <laughs> and, um, and people might hate me for it, but to me, the Rams, okay, the Rams have – they're really good as a team because they've always been to me like superstars and meh players, mm. but they always made it work because they had good chemistry. They had good coaching. Definitely. But I think their situation is a lot worse this year. I mean, they, they lost a lot of players, but they added some key pieces like Allen Robinson and stuff. Right. But to me, I don't think their team got better from last year. Mm. And especially with Stafford, that thing, he has an arm issue right now. And um, obviously, if it wasn't serious, it probably wouldn't be talked about as much as it is right now. And he wouldn't be skipping as much drills as he is right now. But so I, I really don't think that the Rams will beat us this year. And they won't make playoffs. So I think we'll win this game. Yeah, the, the you know, the way that the Rams have chose to build their team, where it's like, I, I don't know if they're going to have, you know, longevity, I guess you could say, with that roster. Yeah. But uh you know, they have a very short window to make a lot of noise. So I still think that they're in that window, but I do understand what you're saying. Like, yeah, in, in some aspects, you know, like losing Von Miller, um, it, it does look like the team did get a little worse in some spots. Um, and then week 18, this is going to be the last game of the season. It's going to be a Saturday game for you guys. So you guys might be on NFL Network for all we know. Um, but you guys play the Denver Broncos now. I had you guys sweeping the uh, the Raiders, but I have the Broncos sweeping you guys this year. So I, I know that's not going to sit well with some of the Chargers fans. But, hey, we're sitting here at 10-7, and 7, okay? You know, even though you guys lost the last three games of the season, you guys are still in the playoffs. So no, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> to me, I want to say we would sweep the Broncos, right? Yeah. But I, here, here's my thought process, okay? To me, my team is like, oh, we already made the playoffs. We're going to rest our starters. So they're going to beat us, right? We're not going to win this game because we're, we're we we made playoffs. We're good. Uh, All right. By this week, we're resting our starters. So this is why we're going to lose this game. I, I, I was wondering why you were saying that, and then I realized that your team is probably at like fourteen wins or something. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know, dude. But I think maybe okay, maybe in a case where like Denver has a chance to make playoffs, and we want to play spoiler. Mm-hmm. 
And I'll see us winning this game. I, I see us like we can, we, we can be able to be like sweep the Broncos and the Raiders. It's no, no, no it I is possible. Mm-hmm. I don't think we'll sweep the Chiefs. I don't think anybody can sweep the Chiefs in our division, honestly. But um, I do think we could sweep the Broncos. So I'm, um, but I think that my team already got the playoff spot in this case, and I don't think the Broncos will make the playoffs this year. So oh, <laughs> I don't have the Broncos making the playoffs. So I, I think that that. <laughs> we will lose that game. That that's my prediction. Okay, so <laughs> I you know I already showed you guys that you know my uh, final prediction for this team is going to be ten and seven, and your final record for the Chargers this season. Sorry, your final prediction for the record. Oh, uh, we are. We have only four losses on the season, guys. Wow. So we'll be thirteen and four. Thirteen and four. Yes. And oh wait no 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 okay so uh I I'm I'm just guessing that you know a lot of the Chargers fans are gonna you know love the feedback that they got from us uh in our prediction today and I I can only imagine that with 13 wins your team will you know possibly win the division um be a higher seed have at least one home game in the playoffs so look I'm not a Chargers fan if that wasn't clear enough already but I think they're are a ton of reasons to be optimistic about this team. Uh, I wanted I wanted to give Micah though the opportunity to just talk about whatever he wanted to about this team, um, you know, before the season gets started. So was there anything that you wanted to talk about in specifics? You know. Um. Yeah, I want to clear one thing. No, no. I, maybe I should clear multiple things. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 Is, um. The first thing is Herbert is top five. <laughs> okay <laughs> and i'm saying this for you guys that don't know i'm saying this because we had a whole discussion about this all right with like the other off camera I'm yeah i'm sure you guys know nathan nathan and dylan they've been on this channel maybe i don't know if nathan's actually been no nathan, nathan, nathan has uh, nathan and dylan yeah. have both been on mock draft videos before yeah <laughs> yeah so we had a huge discussion right dylan and Braden didn't agree that herbert's top five nathan did but to me herbert he has a production. He has a talent, in my opinion, right? And I think that he is top five undeniably. I, I, I can see the point where he isn't. Yeah. Maybe, okay? But I will admit, everybody is a little biased, and I'm a little biased with Herbert, right? But I think the second that people say Joe Burrow is better, I, I cannot say. I think Joe Burrow is, like, overrated. I'm not saying he's, like, really bad. He's I know. I, I can understand that, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's overrated, right? He's still top ten in my eyes probably borderline top seven but i'm just saying herbert in my opinion this year to for the people that think burrow is better than herbert this year he's herbert will prove that he's better than burrow i think 100 percent he'll prove that he's flat out better okay so I, I i definitely have to say my side now look there's a there's a mutual disagreement here but i the point that i was trying to make with micah and like it, it's one that i don't fully agree with on my own but because it is the way it is. And I just have to accept, you know, how everything works. What I mean by that is that a lot of these teams are, or a lot of these quarterbacks are, you know, they're treated differently based on how many games they win or lose. And look, uh, I told Micah that a similar situation is going on with Kirk Cousins. Now, Kirk Cousins, when it comes to production, is not, you know, matching Justin Herbert. So I'm not saying that Kirk Cousins is as good or better than Justin Herbert, but This is a guy in Kirk Cousins that has significantly more touchdowns than interceptions. Uh, It was about like, you know, like 32 to like seven or something like that. And um, we had a losing record last year at eight and nine. And Kirk Cousins never gets the respect of being a pretty decent quarterback when he plays like one. He really does. And uh, the reason for that is because he just doesn't win a ton of games. And that's what Justin Herbert's career has been so far, you know, regardless of how bad the defense is. And I, I was trying to tell Micah that yesterday because, like, Vikings sat at the 30th ranked defense in the league last year. You're not going to win very many games when your defense is that bad. And, you know, unfortunately, we blame the quarterback for that. And so if we're going to do that, I want to stay as consistent as possible. So when it comes to Justin Herbert, I'm not going to treat him any different because I want to see him win those big games, take his team over the top. Um the, the best example I made with him is that we don't make excuses for Mahomes because Mahomes wins games regardless of how bad his defense looks uh, from week to week. So 
I'm not saying that Justin Herbert won't be a top five quarterback this year. I'm saying what I've seen so far, I just don't think he is. But I would not be the slightest bit shocked if he solidifies himself as a top five quarterback this year because they win some pretty crucial games, which they're going to need to if they're going to be competitive this year. So I understand where he's coming from, from the point where the production is there. And there's definitely a lot of talent in Justin Herbert. Um, But like I said, it's a mutual disagreement we have. We can understand both point of views. So hopefully you can too. Um, I understand the frustration. You know, I I would like to say that Kirk Cousins is in that conversation of elite quarterbacks as well. Um, But we're still waiting for him to win some pretty big games for us. You know, you can't lose to Cooper Rush on Halloween and call yourself an elite quarterback. You know, it's the same thing here. So that is that. Okay, that is our... Justin Herbert, top five, not top five ramble. That could be a video on itself, but I don't want hate in the comment section. So uh, what was the next thing you wanted to go over for this team? Oh, okay. This year, for for maybe the Chargers fans that actually watch this video, um, I really think that Josh Palmer this year will have a breakout year. Oh, Right now, it's getting reports in training camp that he's outplaying Guyton for the third spot which wow. I'm very happy about because Guyton, he's been all right. You know, he's, I've watched, I mean, Chargers fans know when you watch these games, like Guyton is inconsistent. He'll do good one game. The other game, he'll drop a lot of balls. And that's the problem too. I think, I mean, we all know Herbert has a cannon of an arm and sometimes he, he just whips it in there and the receivers just don't catch it. I mean, I think we had the highest drop rate last year, if I'm not mistaken, which to me is just, <laughs> I mean, look, if the quarterback is going to get the ball to you, you have to at least try to catch it if it's in your hands, right? But, I mean, I can understand from a point of view because I don't think Herbert had that arm strength coming out of college. He definitely yeah. fucking, I don't know what he did with his arm coming out. He fucking put Captain America serum in his arm or some shit. But, but yeah, I really think Josh Palmer will break out this year. So, that's my sleeper this year, honestly. Mm. Yep. And another thing. Probably the last thing I want to talk about is um. I know our our defense is good, but this is like one of the bad spots of our defense that I think, and it's our linebackers. Mm-hmm. We yeah, lost, definitely. we lost, we lost Kaiser White, and that really bummed me because like Kaiser White had played really good last year. Yeah, he was our best linebacker last year, but now we're stuck with Kenneth Murray and Drew Tranquil, who both kind of get hurt pretty often, and and they're both like not really the best so that's the one part i'm worried about this year and if it's going to be any holes in a defense it's going to be that part of the field so maybe we'll struggle like like maybe a little bit on the run not too much as last year because our 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 d line is a lot better but maybe we'll even struggle like guarding kelsey or waller in our division that's i could Mm. see that like being a huge problem so you know if if we want to end this video off on an optimistic note um the Rams didn't have any notable middle linebackers last year and they were completely fine. So, yeah. you know, I mean, I'm not saying the, the position isn't important because, you know, there's a reason why the Bobby Wagner's and the Darius Leonard's and the Fred Warner's of the world get paid. But I mean, they did it last year, uh, at least the Rams. So yeah, you never know. You never know. But I, You're right. I understand yeah. that concern. That's so I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, who's from the Rams? Yeah, we got. So he he knows what it's like, like to be a yeah, yeah. a run over yeah. linebacker, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I don't know. But I do think our defense will be good this year. So yeah, I, I think, no, I I think, think so too. I think Staley will adjust. I mean, last year was just like probably a test year because we did switch from four three to three four. So, mm-hmm. and I think it will change. So. Okay. Well, when it comes to the Chargers, it looks like there is a pretty excite exciting season in store uh, for this group. And, uh, you know, like we mentioned, there's talent all over the field and at the most important position at the quarterback one too. So, you know, I, it, it would take something for this team to miss the playoffs in my opinion, but uh, Special yeah, team, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys for watching this season predictions video and, you know, a small portion of coverage of the team. Um, might have some more of these later. I don't know if you'll be back because you're probably a Chargers fan. Uh, but I, I, I do push out a decent amount of Chargers content considering that I'm not a Chargers channel. So, 
You know, if that interests you. The Chargers are an interesting team, bro. Uh, you know, right now they are. You know, I <laughs> why would you not want to look at a team that's good and, you know, should be winning games? So, exactly. Yeah, exactly. that is – it is what it is. But, um, yeah. You want to say anything before we end this thing? Yeah, the Chargers are winning the division this year, so. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Peace. <laughs> Peace, bro.